Okay, let's talk about multi-key indexes. We discussed multi-key indexes briefly in the previous unit, but I want to go into more detail now. Let's say you have a document, and that document has a key tags, and the value is an array. And in this case, we have an array of cycling, tennis, and football. If you want to perform queries on this collection, and you want those queries to be fast, you want to add an index on tags, if you're trying to query on tags. Now MongoDB supports adding an index on a key whose value might be an array. And if the value is an array, what MongoDB does is it creates what's called a multi-key index. Rather than having a single index point per document, there are multiple index points, one for each of these elements in the array. Now MongoDB is dynamic. It doesn't know when you create the index what documents are going to exist in the collection. So it's not until you actually insert a document whose value is an array that it becomes a multi-key index. Now there are some other restrictions on multi-key indexes. For instance, you can create a compound index on tags, comma, color, because only one of those two is an array, and the other one in this case is a scalar. But MongoDB wouldn't allow you to create a compound index on tags, comma, locations, because then it has to create index points for every combination of the array elements, and that gets too large, and so it's not allowed. Can't do that. To make this more concrete, let's go into the shell and play around a little bit and see how this all works. Okay, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to insert just a simple little document into a collection, the collection foo, and have it be a simple document with the keys A and B. Okay, now let's add an index to this, dbfoo.insureindex, and we're going to add an index on A, comma B. Okay, it added the index, that's no problem. Before there was one index, which was the underscore ID index. Now it says there are two indexes. Let's now do a query to find a result and find something where A is 1. All right, it found that document. Now let's do an explain and see what explain says about what index it used. And it said it used this B-tree cursor index and it said multi-key is false. Well now, let's insert another document into this collection. And this time, let's make A an array. So I'll make an A an array, and I'll make B just a scalar, like 5. A insert was fine. I'm going to go back and do my find again. First I'll just do the find. That's all fine. Found both documents. Now I'm going to explain it. And now things look a little different. Now it says that multi-key is true. Because there's a document in the collection with a value that is an array, and it's indexed, because there's an index on A comma B, now, multi-key is true. And as I said before, if you try to insert something into the collection where both A and B are arrays for this compound index, that is going to fail. Let's watch that fail. And it says here, I can insert that document with A having a value of 1, 2, 3, and B having a value of 3, 4, 5. It says because I can't index parallel arrays B and A. So you can have a compound index on A and B, but if both of those values for a document are both arrays, then it will fail. And that's the way multi-key indexes work. Okay, it is time for a quiz. Suppose we have a collection foo that has an index created as follows. db.foo ensure index a1b1. Which of the following inserts are valid to this collection? And I won't go through them because they're a little bit detailed but figure out which one of these are valid for the collection. 